it's hard to just pinpoint one point where I said like, okay, that's when I was like, I want to be a dancer. I kind of started dancing because I was just dancing around a lot at home. I was recommended to go to another school and that was actually a professional school already and from there it kind of just like built up and I kind of just got into the professional dance. Of course we all love our job as a dancer otherwise we wouldn't do it because it's very hard but there's definitely days where we kind of wake up in the morning and we're just like yeah I don't want to go to work I don't want to do ballet today so I think yeah. in every job that's the same at some point one of the favorite shows we did here was Shim Chung actually because it was just very different from all the other ballets I have done so far and stepwise for the men it was a lot and it was different and really challenging for the core of the ballet so I really enjoyed dancing that story-wise I quite like Giselle because it's like a a uh, very romantic story about love. I'd say for me it's definitely more in the morning. After I wake up, of course, it takes a bit of time until my brain starts working, but I'd say like after having a good breakfast and a good warm up, my brain's working and also my body's there to dance well. Uh, I think my first dance where I think was probably like a set for my first dance school. I needed like a white leotard, black shorts and white leather slippers. So I remember that was like my first ballet item that I got. I have some gym gloves in my head and some really broken gym gloves. <laughs> I do my warm-up at the gym actually in the morning instead of at the ballet studio because my body is very hypermobile compared to other people so I don't really need stretching I need more like muscle warm-up in the morning that's why I do my warm-up at the gym I would say it's still either like one of the reversible leotards for the girls or the vest the vest he got as a present like at work so everyone got on and it's something you see every time but for example the reversible leotard was one of the first things I remember seeing on Berin it's something that stands out compared to other dancewear because it has its very own I'd say like unique design to it so it's different from what other dance brands do that's why I kind of like remembered it yeah <laughs> I think that's very easy to answer okay. it's the, the full body warm up because it's so comfortable and like when you wear it you're just so free and the fabric is so soft and it's it's just really like so nice to wear it okay. <laughs> it's just Free. Yeah. You wear it and you just feel free. Mm. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.